Welcome back to 98XX, otherwise known as the game that took over my computer last time and actually knew my information. Uh, the game received a huge update, so we're gonna dive into it and see what's new. Let's not forget that this is actually a horror game, so don't be deceived by the looks. Here we go. Okay, aquí vamos, muchachos. Oh, we got, I see, I see a popper, popper, ball popper. Okay, ball popper, surfer. What surfer? Oh, yeah, this is the, this is the, wait. Is there anything different in the websites? There's documents now, question and answer games and photo gallery. Okay, so let's start with uh, ball popper. We'll check out if there's anything new in the surfer. Calvis's games. Uh, is this gonna be another one of those bullshit games? Okay, here we go. This is so 2000. I swear I played a game like this back when I was in school. Uh, oh, this is up. What? What's that? Catch it. Catch it. What did I get? Is that an extra ball? Bro, this doesn't even like... This just goes straight up. Straight up! All right. Oh, that was a nice bounce. That was a really good bounce. I like that bounce. It was a very bounce. This is easy. This is... This is very oh, damn. I got a big ass thing now, but... The walls don't have edges, so it doesn't bounce back. That's very lame. That's very lame. It'd be nice if I could, if we could like bounce across the walls, you know, like actual games. But we already know that this is very deceptive. This is actually a horror game. Oh, now I got two balls and I just wasted them. I'm just. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, when it splits, it splits into two balls. Splitting two balls, bitch. Let's go. Wait, pause on that. My score is gonna suck ass. There we go. I'm biggest now. Size matters, baby. Size matters. Whoever says size doesn't matter, it does. Just ask Adam 22's wife. <laughs> All right, we're finished level five. We're level six now, baby. Level six. Here we go. Make yourself big as shit. Uh huh. Another one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right here, right here. Woo! Damn, I'm getting. Oh, good as good as. Here we go. How far does this go? We're just playing Balloon Pop. This was like the game that would cure your boredom back in the day. Stuff like this. This is all we had to play. We didn't have no f***ing Nintendo Switch or bullshit like that. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm sounding old. <laughs> God damn it. One more for level 9. Are we going up to level 10? Is that level 10? Is this a rat? We're going to end it after level 10? Come on. Woo! Ah, oh, shit. I missed. Whoops. Ba cabron! I'm gonna lose all my f I cannot believe I'm about to lose all my lives on level 10. It's going too fast! Holy shit! Don't let me lose. Don't let- Don't you dare. This thing went f fast now all of a sudden. Stop it. Stop it. Last one, last one, last one. Don't make me lose one. Chingon! It's still going. This bitch is fast as f now. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, relax, relax, relax. <laughs> Pop. Pop. Level 12, baby, level 12. Okay, now I'm addicting. Addicted. Addicting. Pop, pop. Ooh, ooh, oh, shit. What's good? Orale, 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 cabron. Orale, puto, orale, puto. Scary game, my ass. I'm beating this shit. I'm getting to level 1000. I'll be here all night. Try me, bitch. I got plenty of storage space for this recording. <laughs> my editor is beginning to sweat. I can see it. Okay, I think this is one of those games where you're supposed to lose. So I'm just gonna let myself lose. Bop. And see what happens. See? Okay. Uh-oh! What? Ayo! Ayo, uh... FBI, I'm sorry! Oh, he said help me. Uh... Okay, uh... What the f*** do you want, dog? Get away from me. Stop it! Stop it! He's coming. He's getting closer. <laughs> Motherfucker, I thought that was your jump scare. Your jump scare was... The f***? <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> I don't know how that noise just came out of my mouth. Okay, relax. What if I... Hmm. What if I check the video player? 
Ay, güey. Uh, again with the QR code. Was this the same shit as before? There's Morse code again. I learned my lesson last time. I'm not doing fucking Morse code again. It's a text document with a bunch of numbers. Did we already do this one? Shut up. See, it's that. It's just this again. Website with numbers. I'm gonna go over to Hex Translator and see if it's the same thing as last time or if it's new. I wander in darkness, but never in light. I get to their heads and feed off their anger. You wish to find me. I know you do. Seek out these places and look very hard. Yeah, it's the same thing as last time. So there's they, they just want me to go to the other games. What else is new? Photo gallery. Oh, happy stock photos. That's a number. That's a fucking code. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Well, I'm getting my phone out. I'm about to take a picture of this shit because I'm going to... I'm gonna need that. Right, I'm taking a picture of that. A hundred percent. That's a code. Six, four, six, one, three. Mm-hmm. Watch out. How many birds are on the screen? Wait. Hold up. 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 I'm taking a picture of all of them because what's happening is this. Watch this. Watch this. So there's three. Right. And then the. The dice is one. That's one. Uh-huh. And then. The birds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, one, eight. The f ah. What's that? You just click on that. Ah! Tu putisima madre. Oh, we got a code. Oh, we got. Oops. Okay, oops. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Dave. <laughs> Taking a picture of that shit, too. Uh, why is this one just black? Are you gonna do something to me? Why is that one blank? I think we got a six digit code here, muchachos. I think it's three, one, eight, seven, four, nine. I think that's the code. Three, one, eight, seven, four, nine. Something's gonna ask me for a code. Documents. Let's go three, one, eight, or seven, four, nine. Let's go seven, four, seven, four, nine. <gasps> okay, should we go in order? Uh, Which one's first? That would be... This one here goes first. What about three, four? What was the other one? What was the other code? Yeah, it was three, one, eight. What about three, one, eight? Does that also add another one? Three, one, eight. Hmm. I didn't think so. It's probably just seven, four, nine. All right, let's read this. Dear Merez team, I am writing to express my heartfelt gratitude for the new addition you have implemented in your desktop software. The feature where pressing the enter key recognizes the desktop has made a significant positive impact on my daily digital experience. As someone who frequently works on my desktop and often finds it cluttered with multiple files and icons, the simple act of pressing the enter key now brings a sense of order and efficiency to my workflow. Oh, I have to be on the desktop. Your thoughtful implementation has saved me precious time that I used to spend manually arranging and organizing my desktop items. The convenience and effectiveness of this feature have not only improved my productivity, but also enhanced my overall satisfaction with using Merez software. It is evident that your team strives to create user-centric solutions that simplify and optimize our digital lives. I commend your dedication to continuous improvement and your commitment to providing a seamless user experience. This innovative addition has exceeded my expectations, and I am grateful for the positive impact it has had on my daily work routine. Once again, thank you for your commitment and excellence. I am excited to see how Merez continues to evolve and bring further enhancements to its products in the future. Okay, so if I press enter on the menu, like if I drag them like that and then press enter. Oh, hey, check that out. Let me disorganize everything. I can't move the paint. What? Why not? Press enter. <laughs> oh, I mean, now you're over here. <laughs> now, okay, that's out. Uh, I hate that this is actually the thing that entertains me because this should not, this is not entertaining at all. I'm just sitting here pressing, uh, dragging them away and pressing enter. Why did the game have to give me this hidden feature? Because now I want to just do it all the time. I, I moved the paint! That... That wasn't movable before. Maybe you gotta do hard. Maybe you gotta... Why couldn't I move it before? Now I can? Hmm... Hmm... Let me go back to documents and read the rest of this shit. Which one is next? The hidden one. The hidden one is next. Subject, police report. Fatal car accident caused by drunk driver. Description of incident. On August 12, 1998, a tragic car accident occurred. The accident involved two vehicles, a blue sedan driven by a mother and a black pickup truck driven by a man in his 30s. According to eyewitnesses, the truck was traveling at a high speed 
and swerving across lanes prior to the collision. The blue sedan carrying a mother and her daughter was proceeding to the, in the correct lane when the truck abruptly collided with it from the side. As a result of the collision, both the mother and her daughter sustained critical injuries. Emergency medical services were immediately dispatched to the scene, and the victims were transported to the hospital. Unfortunately, despite the efforts of medical personnel, both the mother and the daughter succumbed to their injuries at the hospital and were pronounced deceased. Upon investigation, it was determined that the driver of the black truck was under the influence of alcohol at the time of the accident. Standardized field sobriety tests and the breathalyzer test indicated a significantly high blood alcohol content surpassing the legal limit. The suspect exhibited signs of impairment, including slurred speech, bloodshot eyes, and an odor of alcohol on their breath. They were charged with multiple offenses, including vehicular manslaughter, driving under the influence, DUI, and, uh, reckless driving. Additional witnesses, including those who saw the suspect consuming alcohol prior to the accident, will be interviewed to gather further, further evidence on the case. Conclusion. The tragic incident resulted in the untimely death of a mother and her daughter. The suspect was arrested and is currently in custody facing charges related to the accident. Our thoughts and condolences go to the family and friends uh, affected by this devastating loss. The investigation into this case will continue and a comprehensive report will be prepared and submitted to the appropriate authorities for legal proceedings. Okay, so some dumbass f***ing drunk and drove and killed a mother and her daughter. Are you ready to be a, be a part of the game studio that pushes the boundaries of creative innovation? Okay, yeah. Who choose Calvis? Why choose Calvis game? Uncompromising quality. Top pri quality is our priority. Exceptional quality. We pour our passion and expertise. Uh-huh. Innovative core. Uh-huh. So this is kind of like just selling points as to why you should play their games. Growth opportunities. We believe in investing in our employees. Uh-huh. Play. Uh, join the Calvis family. Are you a visionary game developer or a creative? artist and a coding genius or a master of sound design if you have the passion skills and drive to create extraordinary game experiences we want you on our team <laughs> explore exciting career opportunities blah 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 what does this one say? Dear Calvis team, I'm writing to you as a concerned parent regarding my son and his increasing addiction to your games. As a game studio that strives to make high quality games, I believe you value the well-being of your players and I am reaching out to seek your support and guidance. First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge the exceptional quality of the games developed by Calvis Games. <laughs> So the the mother or father who is uh, writing this, first of all, let me just c commend you on a phenomenal game. The quality is top notch. However, my child is addicted. <laughs> The immersive experience and captivating gameplay have undoubtedly contributed to my son's deep engagement and, and enjoyment. However, it has come to my attention that his gaming habits have started to interfere with his daily life. Uh-huh. I've noticed a significant decline in academic performance, reduced social interactions, and a lack of interest in other activities that were once important to him. As a responsible game studio, I kindly request your assistance in addressing the issue. I understand that parental control and guidance, uh, but I believe that the involvement and support of Calvis Vane will make an... Uh-huh. I appreciate your attention to this matter and look forward to hearing from you soon. Should you require any additional information or wish to discuss for... <laughs> so it's a concerned uh, parent letter. Wait a minute. Six. 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 Yo. Repent your sins. 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 One more, one more, one more. <laughs> 420. Nothing? Oh, come on. It seems like we got some hidden files here that we haven't found. Maybe that's what we need to do is find these hidden files. There's a whole help article. I'm not f***ing reading that. I think we're missing three documents. All right, that's enough of the documents. Let's check out questions and answers games. See how many questions you can answer. Okay. Do you like to play games? Yes. Do you think it's important to take breaks when playing too much? Nah. Do you think video games will take over the world? Yes. Have you played this game before? Yes. Are you sure you're playing a game? Ah, uh, don't do this to me. Yes? Do you know what reality is? <laughs> um, e e yes? Are, are you close to your family? E yes? Do you think even loved ones could hurt each other? Yes? If someone were to get a fatal accident, would this be painful? Yes? People who do not repent of their sins are condemned. Uh, 
I don't fucking know. Do you believe everything I say? No, fuck you. Have you looked behind you? Oh, fuck, don't do that. You motherfucker! Don't do that shit! I'm home alone! Time is short. Uh, yes. It's- it's too late! No. No, it's not- Ah! What the f- What did you do now? Huh? It's jumping Ju- Ju- Julian? Julian? Piece of shit. Mother Shit. Boobs. What is that? What is that website? Uh, that just takes you to buy the game. I thought it wasn't a game, huh? Scared the fuck out of me, though. Okay, we are back in. We're gonna figure some of this stuff out. Let's see what's in the start menu. But we've got the same thing. A jumping Huan. We've got the puzzle game that we never could figure out. If you haven't watched the previous video, go and watch that. Because there's more stuff there. Uh, I'm still missing two documents. Maybe I got the order wrong before. Okay, so the photo gallery. Let's let's see. We got three people, six dice. Oh, five dice. I was doing just a one. I did three, one, eight. What if it's three, five, and then eight birds? I fucked it up. Three, five, eight. <gasps> it worked. I knew it. I was fucking smart to begin with, but I just wasn't smart enough to figure it all out. You know what I'm saying? Dear Cavity, I'm writing to express my deep concern and frustration regarding the issue my son experienced while playing your game Ball Popper. <laughs> it is my hope that you can address this matter promptly to prevent any further inconveniences or potential damage. Yesterday, my son was playing Ball Popper on our family computer. He achieved an impressive score of 1990, which brought him to great joining. What the f***? That's not an impressive score. I reached that shit just casually playing it and got to level 12. However, when he attempted to dose the game, our computer suddenly crashed, resulting in an unexpected shutdown. Upon restarting the computer, we encountered difficulties with the operating system and took significant time and effort to restore the computer's functionality. We were fortunate that we managed to recover the system, but this incident has left us deeply concerned about the stability and reliability of Ball Popper and its impact on our computer's performance. As responsible game developers, I kindly request your immediate attention to investigate the matter thoroughly. I believe it is crucial to identify the root cause of the crash and take appropriate measures to prevent such incidents from occurring in the future. The safety and integrity of our computer systems should not be compromised when engaging in them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just concerned parents again. But we're still missing two documents. Okay, yo, look, right here. One of the other documents has a five there. By understanding. I didn't even realize this. That's this one. This one's got five, so then that must mean that this one also has another number. The first three documents that were available. There should be a hidden number here somewhere. A three, right there, three. So five, three, and this one? There's an eight, but do them in the, uh, in the order of the date. So this one's first, eight, five, three, eight, five, three. Oh, it's just this one backwards, the one I just did. Eight, five, three? No? Okay, five, three, eight. There it is. It was 538. Okay, so it wasn't in the order of the the dates. That's weird. I got another one, though. Does this also have hidden shit? Incident report. Break-in and disturbance at Greenwood Cemetery. On February 18th, uh, approximately to a break-in and disturbance were reported in Greenwood Cemetery. I responded to the call and arrived at the scene approximately 1.36 a.m. Upon arrival, I met the reporting party who stated that they witnessed an individual breaking into the cemetery and digging up graves. The witness reported that they immediately called emergency services, but before the authorities arrived, the suspect fled the scene on foot, escaping any apprehension, investigation, and actions taken. Upon arrival at the scene, I concluded a preliminary investigation. I observed that exactly two disturbed grave sites were soil where soil had been dug up, indicating recent disturbance. I also interviewed the witness and gathered relevant information regarding the suspect's physical appearance and di direction of escape. I conducted a thorough search of the surrounding area, but due to the subject's timely escape, I was able to locate or apprehend them. However, I ensured the preservation of the crime scene, collecting potential evidence such as footprints, tool marks, and any other trace evidence that could aid in the investigation. I also contacted the Greenwood Cemetery staff and informed them of the incident. They provided access to cemetery records and indicated their willingness to cooperate fully in the investigation. CCTV footage from nearby surveillance cameras is being reviewed to identify any additional evidence related to the incident. Conclusion. The incident at Greenwood Cemetery involved a break-in and disturbance where an individual was seen digging up graves. Despite a 
immediate response and search efforts. The suspect managed to escape prior to apprehension. The investigation is ongoing and all available evidence is being processed and analyzed. Evidence. Why didn't you just use this whole paragraph for the whole thing? All of this shit was just filler. It's like trying to reach the minimum word count on your essay the night before your essay is due. <laughs> This report serves as an initial documentation of the incident and you find it. Yep. Okay, so we've got a grave digger, robber. We've got one more document, though. They mentioned 1.36 a.m. Does that work? No. Okay. Uh, I read this in a comment, and I'm going to try to see if this is true. Somebody said to fill up the entirety of the paint thing. I'm going to pick my favorite color green, and I'm just going to try this. This is going to take a while. We we Where's the bucket tool when you need it, bro? Uh No way. You serious? That's how you get the puzzle? Who the f Okay, thank God for that comment because I would not have fucking figured this out. Who actually looks at the paint and says, "Oh, I wonder what happens if I take square by square and fill the whole thing up?" Get a life. But thank you. <laughs> All right, let me try it. Let me take a picture of it because I'm not going to remember that shit. We got ourselves what we needed, muchachos. All right, let's go to the puzzle game. Let's put this in. Here we go. Oh, baby. This is fresh. This is new. This is content. Ah! You piece of shit. You motherfucker. I, I trusted you. <laughs> I was focused. I was so focused. Another thing. Oh, okay. We have an interview uh, video. Okay, let me play. Let me actually play this on. Hang on. Greetings, Mr. Mumford. Mr. Dalton. Now, what made you decide to work at Rossi Incorporated? <laughs> the brilliance of a computer chip is always fascinating. Even the human mind is something on computer chip. If I'm not mistaken, you were the developer for Jumping Julian, which gained a lot of attention a few months ago. I mean, I did, but that was all in the past. I see. Oh, uh, why don't we take five? We can discuss more a little bit later. What? So it was just an interview with the developer of Jumping Julian. Well, that didn't really give us anything. Hmm. Okay, so we've pretty much done everything. Ball Popper goes on forever. We got, we're missing a document. Uh, photo gallery we done, uh, questions and answers we did, pixel paint, we got the secret from that, we've done the puzzle pattern, anything else in the surfer thing? It's the same thing as before. They just let you speak it? So you can click on the things like- My Red Incorporated. Yeah, you can click on the numbers. So, that seems to be similar. How about Jumping Huan? Let's try this, this should be the last thing we do, see if there's anything new in Jumping Huan. I f can't stand. Damn this game, bro. <laughs> Jumping who ooh an Hello there. Juan. My name Hello is there. And I am very happy you are I'm getting PTSD. I love when people... <laughs> All right, come on. Let's go. Oh, wait, stop going through the side, cabron. I thought it would I thought it wouldn't let me. Pop. Pop. And pop. Hey, I did it. Wasn't there balls flying around? I could have sworn it was like flying balls everywhere. This looks different. What a leg way! Cabron, I'm just pressing block. It is different, isn't it? System error. Press any key to attempt to- That was different. It didn't have any balls. Ha ha! That's right, bitch! I got my antivirus on! You don't know what my name is no more! You can't fish for my information, puto! Oh, it does know my name! God damn it! <laughs> Error. Oh, here we go. It's the same ending as before, right? We're gonna get... They're coming for me. I hate that! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god!
Do you ever wonder why death happens? Death comes unexpectedly. One moment you're fine, and then it all ends. So, illusion you must die. 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 Saw it coming too. I knew it was gonna happen. You, you didn't give me that time. Ha <laughs> ha Okay, someone told me I should jump out of bounds. But like, in a specific spot? Like... What kind of secret is this? What the f Hold up. A key?! What do you do with that? Okay, click it. Okay, there we go. I clicked it. It restarted. But I have a key! What do I do with this key, cabrones? A key to what? I'm about to hack this bitch back. A key, a key to uh, jumping Juan's house? He's living there with his 20 cousins and uncles and aunts? Hey, that's just what us Mexicans do, okay, chill? Okay, there's gotta be a house somewhere now or something I can use that key in. <laughs> Should we keep trying more out-of-bounds stuff? I should make it Okay, jump out of bounds, and... There it is, putos! I found it! I found that shit! Use the key! Put that shit right in the keyhole. Right in its little keyhole. Wait, <laughs> yo, chill. Alright, what now? I just unlocked something. Is there a new game somewhere? A new document? Oh, it's... What, where'd my documents go? Oh, it's because I didn't put 666? Okay. Ah! I tried going back to jumping Julian and that shit happened. What? Uh, FNAF? I'm a blurry little dot walking through a blurry little world in search of my blurry little girlfriend so I can blurrily whistle at her and be like, <laughs> I found a key. Hey, mommy, I'm looking for my dot girlfriend. Is there another one over here? This is, uh, this sounds just like FNAF. What the f Another key. How many keys am I supposed to get? That's two? There's another place down here. I saw it. Right here. Another place I can go to. If I'm an orb, a floating little blurry dot, how can I walk if I don't have any legs? Also, I'm 2D, so I'm not technically rolling. How? It's a sad little dot. Hey, mommy, why are you so sad? I found my sad girlfriend. Let me give you a hug real quick. You want to turn orange? Huh? Red and yellow make orange. Hmm? Do you know what I mean? The f*** is this? I was just trying to make out with my new dot girlfriend! I couldn't have had a moment? It is finished. What is? The game? We never got that there before. Was this a part of the game in the first update? Maybe I just didn't explore it far enough, and people hadn't had a chance to figure it out. I don't f know. Okay, click on the it is finished. Yes, it is. One, two, one, two, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, eight. Should we try that in the document? Two, two, eight? Yo, if that works, that's some big brain shit right there. See, what would y'all do without me, huh? If I wasn't thinking about this stuff. Hmm? Y'all be watching a dude clicking on a desktop being like, Oh, I don't know what to do. Video's over. But no, I'm here finding shit. I'm here trying shit for y'all. 228. Ready? Oh, come on. It was a good attempt. You gotta admit. You gotta admit. I was onto something there. <laughs> come on. You know I was trying. Shut up. Wait, it's actually. It's actually A22. On July 20th. I forgot this game knows everything. God damn it. Okay, muchachos, I think that's it for this update. And uh, the developer has already announced update 3.0. So uh, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you want to see next. If I missed anything, uh, maybe I'll try it out in the next time. But that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye.